Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy. And I'm Lucas. And welcome back to Patch. And today we're gonna to be reviewing the Havit KB498L. Uh, why is it named that? We don't know. It's a little confusing as far as the name goes, but uh, it is a combination of a keyboard and a mouse, and it's only 60 bucks. So is it worth it? Is it good? It's pretty damn cheap. So uh, we're, we're gonna be reviewing that and we're gonna be going over all of that in this video. If you guys do wanna get it, we'll leave a link in the description box, but uh, what do you wanna start with, man? I mean, let's just say like what, what you're getting basically. Like, okay. I mean, you get a keyboard and mouse combo, okay. Um, the keyboard they state is a 60% form factor, which reigns true. We brought it up to a 65 and it's just, it's just a tad smaller. It's just a tad smaller, but you still get um, your, your row of keys. So you still have your delete key and your arrow keys, which is actually nice. Um, RGB keyboard um, and it's wireless up to 10 hours of battery life on wireless Bluetooth 5.1 connection. Um, keyboard itself seems good. Mouse, that just kind of advertises Gaming mouse. <laughs> that's that's all we got. Um, so <laughs> it's so. very difficult to find like the actual specs and everything of the mouse. So we'll just sort of we'll review it as a combo. Let's uh, but let's get started with the keyboard. So the keyboard right. starting from the bottom, we got four rubber feet, so it is non-slip. It's not going to be sliding on your desk or anything. And then here in the middle, we have an, an on and off switch for the Bluetooth connection, if you guys do wanna get it. But like Lucas said, it's only 10 hours, which is not very long, but you know, I guess it's better than nothing, right? Uh, there is no kickstand, which kind of sucks. So you can't really adjust the height, but yes, for 60 bucks, doesn't really matter. And here on the back of the keyboard, we have a, U a removable USB-C connection, which is very, very cool. Uh, Lucas really likes USB-C and uh, it is removable. So if you do wanna use a different cord, you can, but the, the cord that comes in the box is just a rubber cord which kind of very low quality but it's 60 bucks so you can't really complain the chassis is pretty much all plastic so uh i mean that speaks for itself and then coming here onto the actual keyboard uh it's not that it's not that bad it's actually. not terrible yeah. yeah so so we've got i dug a little deeper because it just says premium brown switches <laughs> on the website but i dug a little deeper um it's it's Jixian brown switches i've never heard of it but it's tactile and uh it does not feel tactile it's tactile it feels tactile to me really I feel tactile bump it, it's so like feel, little it's though. very faint very faint. Um, what i like about it is it's quiet and i actually do like tactile keys i know i'm in the in the minority right now i know it's a bandwagon everyone has to like linear keys right now i'm a tactile guy i actually like them it's it's okay i don't mind it um, and it's pretty quiet, so I didn't mind. Like when I was gaming with it, it didn't pick up on my mic or anything like that, which was kind of shocking. Um, and I thought it was pretty cool. Um, now they got RGB on there, of course, and they sell the keycaps that sort of like hug your, they, they, they sort of hug your finger a little bit, a little bit concave. Uh, so the keycaps on there, it didn't take any getting used to to be able to type on it. I feel like I type just as fast on this as, as with any other keyboard. Um, and it's cool that it has Bluetooth, but I don't think I'll be using it. That 10 hours battery life, I just don't feel like like charging a keyboard, you know? Yeah. Um, but it does work, it's there. Um, if you do want to use it, I can hook it up to my TV, things like that. Um, and it does have 10 hours battery life. So yes. that's good as well. And as far as the form factor goes, like Lucas mentioned, we do have arrow keys. Uh, they did shrink down the control key and also the shift key here on the right, but whoever uses the do you use the shift key? I, I use that for muting in Discord and that's it. Yeah, like it, it, no one really ever uses it, so that's okay. And of course, I would much rather have arrow keys on a 60% keyboard than not. So that's usually what uh, makes me not want to get 60% keyboards because it doesn't have arrow keys, you know? And then here yeah. on the right, we have the delete key, which is also very nice. We have a page up and down, but if you guys do want to like uh, switch it to something else, you guys can do that as well. But yeah, I mean, it feels pretty nice. I mean, it's cheap build quality and like the keycaps, it feels like ABS plastic, so it's not the best, but I mean, for 60 bucks and you also get a mouse, it's actually pretty good value. Yeah, I mean, the value is good even just for the keyboard alone. Yeah. Now, if we delve into the mouse, <laughs> all right. Um, this thing kind of stinks. Yeah, I gotta be honest with you. Yeah. Um, if I bought this combo for 60 bucks, I'd be happy about the keyboard. I'd probably just chuck the mouse, yeah. if I'm honest with you. But if you're in a pinch, you really need a gaming mouse and, and keyboard, or you need to get something like, I mean, I feel like this would be a good combo to get like a like a kid or someone who's getting into entry level gaming, something like that. I mean, you can't really go wrong with this. You can always get a new mouse at some point, you know, um, or you could replace the keyboard if you really like the mouse. I don't know why you would, but I mean, you can. Um, but this mouse, I mean, it just feels, Feels really cheap in the hand. The, there's like little side like ribs, but it's it did more harm than good for those because it feels slipperier mm. um, as a result of them. Little RGB strip at the back. 
um, for an underglow effect, which is actually pretty cool. But you hand Um You've got stock feet on there, which just, they kind of, they, they kind of just, eh, they don't slide very well. Um, you got a DPI indicator up top, um, RGB controllers uh, below that. Scroll wheel is, it, it's mushy, it's mushy. Um, clicks just feel like sort of Omron, Omron switches. It feels pretty average click. It's, it's not terrible for the click. It's more or less just the, the build quality of it that is the, uh, that is the... We have a braided cable though. Yeah, braided Bra cable. It's not that nice. <laughs> it's pretty stiff, actually. Yeah, so. yeah, no, it's very stiff cable. Um, you would definitely have to replace the cable if you really wanted to get into this mouse and you wanted to do like drill it with some weight reductions and, and, and add a paracord to it. I, I don't oh. think you can. I don't think you could save this thing. I, I don't think you can. Why would you want to, by the way? You like, know? Yeah, but, but uh, how's the sensor though? Uh, also trash. Yeah. So so it it only goes up to 125 hertz pulling rate, as I tested on Zowie's website. I mean, they, um, it's just like a it's a standard like laser. It's like the red laser <laughs> yeah. like but, pointer. It's but like my question is like mice have like you know options for that you know some mice have options for that if you want to switch between like 125 to like what, what is it like 500 hertz to a thousand yeah usually why would you want to do that and we just keep it at a thousand right but i don't know I, yeah there you go right so yeah the mouse is pretty not good you it'll know, but... do for the meanwhile like i was able to game with it i <laughs> really prefer not to but i could <laughs> You know, um, it's pretty. It's pretty like bulky too. So, you know, it doesn't. I mean, it's an okay yeah. shape, I would say, for palm and like shapes. All right, it's all right, but like it's it's a little bit bigger than I would like. You know, I like a little bit smaller mouse. And as far as the weight goes, it, it like you don't. Uh, do you care about the weight? Uh, it feels a little yeah, it, heavy. It feels okay. It feels a little heavy, but you know, let's just check the actual weight. In I'm gonna grams. guess 90 grams. 90 grams. Damn. Ooh. All right. 90. Two ninety-three grams. Oh, oh shoot. shoot! Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, he was pretty much right on the dot. Yeah, it's kind of heavy. It's a little bulky as well, and the build quality sucks, like Lucas said. So yeah, the mouse sucks, but the keyboard is actually not that bad. So I mean, uh, would you recommend this? All in all, bucks? sixty bucks. I'm not disappointed. Honestly, if I was if I was in the market for for a keyboard and mouse, um, and I I needed a like a sixty percent form factor keyboard, but I wanted arrow keys on it, like. And I know this sounds like it's a it's a very like arrowhead like sort of like like <laughs> niche thing. It's really not. Like I feel like a lot of people need this. Um, Sixty bucks. I wouldn't be disappointed. I really wouldn't be disappointed. Um, especially just for the keyboard. I'd buy this thing for the keyboard alone for sixty bucks because it's tough to come by a keyboard that's like that feels okay. I mean the build quality of the chassis is not great, but like it felt good. Like yeah. I didn't really care. Like it was usable. I can game on it. Um, has RGB, it has, it's pretty much up to spec for, for me anyways, so I didn't really mind it. For 60 bucks, I'd buy this and, you know, I'd, I'd stuck it up with the mouse for a little bit, maybe until I could buy like, I don't know, a Viper Mini or something like that, 40 bucks. Um, so it's not a terrible deal, not a terrible deal. I wouldn't be disappointed with this. Yeah, what I would say is that you just focus on the keyboard, right? So just think of it as you're paying 60 bucks for the keyboard and then you get a little bonus package kind of of this, you know what I mean? Like how smaller companies, they're like, oh, thank you for buying it, this product, and we're gonna throw in a little extra goodie for you. <laughs> Just yeah. think of it like that, um, because the, the mouse is like not it, you know? But anyways, th that's our thoughts and our review of the Habit KB498L. There you go. <laughs> uh, again, if you guys do wanna get it, we'll leave a link in the description box, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next one. See you in the next one.